What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft with me, your boy Iggy. Today, you'll find me in the nether back at the blaze spawner, or the double blaze spawner farm. And, uh, I just figured we would start off the episode today by, uh, uh trying to, like, position myself. The cat is blocking my leg room on the footrest, but as I was saying, I figured we would, um, go ahead and decorate our farm here a little bit, make it look nice, so... That way, when we're in here farming the blaze, we're not only safe, but, you know, we're safe in a nice aesthetic looking, uh, nice aesthetic looking room. And it's pretty cool. You can see here, both the, uh, spawners are active in this spot, and they just funnel right into my little custom design here. So, very helpful farm to have. Glad I finally bit the bullet and, uh, made this thing, but up here worries me because I don't want mobs raining down on me from above so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, you know dig some of this out here along the uh, edge so we can get a nice little fancy wall put in and then I was thinking you know maybe we'd use like deep slate for some of it and get rid of all that yeah like maybe like a deep slate Tile, like you know wall around the back sides here and then uh glass in front of the uh the spawner so i'm gonna go ahead start digging some of this out and then uh go get a shulker full of glass and we can uh, get this farm finished up so i will be right back with all righty so i got the room all done i kept it pretty simple just did a uh, polished black stone for the walls that don't have anything on the other side and then did uh just a big glass room that way stuff is not spawning on top of us and we can actually see through to make sure that the uh, spawners are working and if I was not in fabric or if I could get uh, opti fabric to work then we would get the uh, connected glass textures that I normally play with the uh, shaders and optifine so we'll just have to see if I can get opti fabric to work along with world edit and uh, uh, replay mod because I mean I don't really need world edit for you know obviously the survival world that'd be a little cheaty but I do want it for uh, you know my creative test worlds and whatnot so definitely got to figure out how to get those working but overall I'm happy with this and like I said once we got the uh, connected glass textures it'll look uh, it'll look quite a bit better so got my little um bucket of water here that's kind of hard to stand in in case I get lit on fire which is always nice and then we've got a little respawn anchor over here that I need to charge and uh yeah just a slab floor so things can't spawn plenty of light basically just what uh just what we needed so overall I'd say that's uh what we're gonna call that I left this area open right here just so uh magma cubes could potentially spawn there and we could use it to uh get the magma cream so that's why that's like that but yeah, so that's where we're going to uh, call this for for now. And like I said, I can still sit here and farm up plenty of blaze, get tons of blaze rods. Basically twice the rates. So I mean, got six during that one. Might as well take this back with me. But yeah, overall, I'm satisfied with that. So we've got our... Uh... Now why are those guys going up? They're supposed to go down. There you go. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm satisfied. So I will meet you guys back up on the base and we will get started on the uh, next project for today. So see ya in just a minute. Alrighty, and we're back. So I figured the project that we would be working on next today is actually going to be uh, Cub Fan's Sea Pickle Farm. And we're going to be improving it slightly. Um, I'm going to be using the design that he showed uh, recently on Hermitcraft Season 8 with the uh, piston-powered, you know, where you plant the sea pickles, it automatically uh, bone meals them, and then sticky pistons launch up, and it launches the sea pickles all around the room. Now, on Cub Fan's design, you have to run in circles and pick up the sea pickles manually where... I'm going to be using hoppers because we have an abundance of iron thanks to our iron farm right in there. So that being said, the way you're going to start this is with a 11 by 11 hole with a little uh, 
output chute here for where you want your uh, sea pickles to go. So my sea pickles are going to go right in here. So we are just going to get our chest placed like so. So basically the way that this farm is going to work is if you were to come out, let's see, let's grab our dirt. So one, two, three on the fourth block here, um, we are going to have stairs. And so there's going to be a three by three in the middle here surrounded by stairs. And then that is where the, um, the pistons and the sea pickles are going to go. However, we need to put our hopper lines in first. So basically what I'm going to do is we're going to mark. So let's see, here's our center point. And that would make our three by three. Whoops. Right here. Which means our stairs are going to go on these blocks. So we are not going to be having hoppers underneath the stairs. So now basically the rest of this space here. So all of this, we need to connect to that chest with hoppers. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to shift click one, two, and three. And then we are going to just go around like so. And then from this side, we're going to do it the other way and make sure all the hoppers are facing into one another. So I'm just probably going to just speed up me putting in the rest of these real quick. So get that in. Okay, perfect. So now that we've got that, I actually need to go and grab the supplies that we're going to need for the actual build. So give me just a moment to uh, go and get the wood because we're going to be matching it to uh, a lot of these buildings here. So I will be back in just a moment. Alrighty. Now that we've got all of our hoppers in, I'm going to be building this out of mainly spruce to match the uh, rest of the buildings around here. And I actually figured out how to get rid of that annoying... Uh, recording icon up here so i only got replay mod to work so that should once i figure out how to use it we should be able to get some cool uh cool footage without needing the camera account which is great because that way i won't have to uh open it to LAN, and when i pause it'll actually pause so that's nice but anyway back to the build what we are going to do next is right here in the middle around our three by three we are going to be placing stairs like so you're just going to have those facing outwards and go all the way around. Like that. And then I need a infinite water source somewhere. I guess we'll put it right here. Grab that, put that down, grab my essentials box where I always keep all the things I may need, like the second bucket of water. Boom, you can just refill that one, put it back. We fill that one so we have it perfect next up we are going to cover all of these um poppers with slabs except for the ones diagonal from the uh the corner blocks where we are actually going to be putting you know i think for light sake i'm going to be putting sea lanterns there so i'm going to need to go grab some more but we're going to have one there one there one there and so on and so forth. So let me go grab, uh, actually, I'm gonna go grab the uh, rest of the sea lanterns and then I will uh, be right back. So I'll probably just do a quick jump cut here. Alrighty, so now that I got my sea lanterns, we can go ahead and just continue putting these on the diagonals from the corners, which should leave us nice little three block gaps in between. So we'll do one there. And then let's see, we'll actually put them in the, no, the outer corners are gonna be regular pillars. I believe, hold on, what did I do? 
Yeah, okay, so behind those are going to be, gotcha. All right, so this is all looking good. So next we're going to grab our slabs, and this is probably not going to be enough, so I'm going to need to grab some more, and we should actually probably get out our construction kit, which contains a bed and a uh, crafting table. That's what we wanted. So grab the crafting table, go ahead and get ourselves some more slabbers, and then we'll just start covering up all of these hoppers. Alrighty, so now at this point, what we're going to do is we are actually going to come down here and we are going to dig out all underneath the stair blocks. Like so, and then jump up here, grab our stone bricks, and then I'm just going to replace all of the area down here with stone bricks so that we know that there is water here. Alrighty, perfect. Now, let's see, let me go ahead and get the next steps ready and I will be right back with you. Okay, now, next step is we are going to come over here and we are going to waterlog all of these stairs. So let's just go ahead and get our bucket and get those waterlogged. Alrighty, now once you've got your stairs waterlogged, you're going to get your buckets again and you're going to come down underneath here. You're going to place a block there and there, which means you should be able to take that one and just go ahead and fill all this in. So they are all water source blocks. Like so. And, uh, did not think I'm going to get out of this. There we go. All right. Then we are going to need, let's see, sticky pistons. So we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sticky pistons. So let's get our redstone. We got one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Grab those. And we are going to place like so. Alrighty, so now you should have something like this. And let's see. We're going to replace this one with a stone brick just so we know that there is something on top. Now this next bit, let's see if I can get out of here again. You're going to want to have some water ready or an extra piece of your coral. So now what we're going to do is we're going to place coral blocks down on these sticky pistons because they will be waterlogged by the side. So do the edge ones first because the water right there under the stairs, we'll keep them hydrated. We'll come all the way around. And now on the top, we're going to place the water bucket. It'll do two, and then we're just gonna fill this with water sources, like so. And then you can go and place your last one in the middle with your sea pickles on top, like so. 
Alrighty, next up, we are going to need, I'm just going to refill my water buckets. Oops. Put that one back. We're going to need a dispenser. One of those, and then some temporary blocks. We'll just use the uh, stone bricks for now. And what you're going to do is place a block there. And one on top. And come over and over, and then you can squat underneath and place a dispenser facing down at your sea pickles. In which case you can then go ahead and remove remove those. So you should have something that looks a little bit like this. Alrighty, next step is you're going to shift click and place a water bucket on either side of your dispenser there which will create this little fountain effect so all the sea pickles when they get pushed up will get pushed into the water and pushed out onto the slabs boom alrighty so now we've got something that looks like this Next up, I'm just going to do a little bit of decoration and get some of the pillars in that we're going to need to be able to actually uh, get the lever in for our redstone and all that. Alright, so we've got those and then let's go ahead and grab our logs and we'll just come behind these and just go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're going to do that behind all of these. Seven. And then you're going to want to go ahead and do that in the corners as well. Alrighty, perfect. So now I'm going to go ahead and get the redstone put in for this and I will show you uh, what it looks like after it is all complete before we go ahead and uh, cover it up and finish the build. So let me just go ahead and get that put in and then I will be right back with you. Alrighty, so I got the redstone in and I'm going to hop into free cam here and give you guys a look so that you can pause the video and potentially replicate this. But so we've got our slab and then we've got a block, a full block that we're using to light the room. And then on top of that, a stair and behind that is our pillar. Now on the block directly above the stair, you're going to have a lever and this is the off position when it's down. So you're going to put place a lever and flick it right away. And then, here is what your redstone is going to look like. So, from behind the lever right there, there's going to be a redstone dust on a block with a torch going into two repeaters on max delay. And then they step up, redstone dust, another repeater on max delay. That redstone dust steps up onto a solid block with redstone on top. Another solid block with repeater on full delay, and then a slab above your redstone torch on one click into a solid block like so. And then this will continue repeater into a solid block with redstone dust, which will then go over and up one. And then you will step two single blocks, two double blocks, two more double blocks. This block right here is part of the um, decoration of the room so that's going to be for me a stair because we're going to be continuing this pillar up but then it will go over one block onto uh, a solid block I just use brick is what I normally put my redstone on if it's not part of the actual build into another redstone dust into a comparator into another comparator switch to negative another one switch to negative Redstone dust that loops back around into all the comparators and then you've got observers going all the way down into the uh, dispenser down here. Then for the piston section, 
you've got so this is our you know initial line right here it's then going to step down into a repeater on full delay where it will then go into a solid block with a redstone dust with a solid block next to it and then a block down below that you've got a repeater on full delay right here which goes into a dust below three repeaters on full delay two redstone dusts a torch which will then go into these redstone dusts they come around to there and then you've got target blocks with your uh, redstone torches directly above them directly underneath your pistons so basically the redstone dust just continues so that it runs into all of our target blocks like so I'm just going to kind of give you a second to pause there to see. And then a second to pause here to see the back. And then here is how that's supposed to go. Here's just pause and see that. And we'll kind of give you it so you can see there a little pause so you can see there come up a little bit pause it so you can see that here it is from the other side and there's the redstone like so so that is how you get the redstone in so now once i get some uh bone meal into this uh we can flick the lever and uh i'll show you how it works so let me go and do a quick cut, grab some bone meal, and then we will rejoin back up and give this thing a test. Alrighty, so I got our bone meal, so let's just go ahead and load this thing up. And then we will come over here, and I'm going to stand up on the stairs here and flick the lever. As you can see, it basically will bone meal, and then when the pistons fire up, it launches the sea pickles onto the floor where it is automatically picked up by the hopper. You do not have to do anything, it just stand here and let it do its thing. So it looks like that is all working properly. Go ahead and flick that down once it's down at the bottom, and we are all set. And as you can see, we come over here and look in our chest. We got some extra stuff, but Look at all those sea pickles, and they're still flowing in. So this thing is working fantastic. I couldn't be happier with it, especially with the uh, improved design using the slab, so we don't have to actually pick anything up. Hypothetically, we could just walk away from this farm and let it do its thing, but yeah, that is how you make the farm. I know in Cub Fan's video, which I will be linking down below, he does show you uh, step by step how to do the top bit here, but then does not show the specifics for the redstone down here. So I literally had to watch it on like a quarter speed, like 15 times to reverse engineer this thing. So I did the work, but you don't have to. But again, I can't take any credit for this. This is 100% a Cub fan design. I just changed the blocks and Modified it a little bit with the uh, hoppers underneath so it automatically collects. So now I'm basically just going to go in and uh, finish putting in a build, getting this thing uh, decorated. So I will uh, go ahead and do that and then I will join back up with you once I've uh, got something worth looking at. So I will be right back. Alrighty, and just like that, we have got our sea pickle farm structure complete. I just went with a, uh, you know, medieval style house like all the other ones, and it's definitely help, helping bring our city together. Uh, let me just hop into free cam here so we can kind of have a look at it. But yeah, it's just your, you know, your typical medieval building matches all the rest of them, so it definitely fits in nicely, and it actually... It's the perfect size to, you know, fill in this little area that we had. <clears throat> it 
excuse me, that we had right here. So overall, very happy with the way that the build turned out. And it's nice to have a, you know, fully functional uh, sea pickle farm. So, you know, we can just come over here, open the door. You know, everything's good to go. Can flip the switch, start the start the farm up. Looks like I actually forgot some window panes here. I may just fill that in with solid wood, but yeah. And then back here, you know, you've got your redstone access in case you ever have to do any uh, any maintenance. That's all good to go down here. Eventually, I need to replace these walls with uh, brick to make it look nice. But overall, that is the build complete. All done. We've got sea pickles for days now. Everything looks all, you know, nice and fancy. And uh, yeah, I am quite pleased with it. So that being said, I think that's where we're going to end the episode for today. Thanks for watching. As always, don't forget to hit that like button if you liked the video. Hit the dislike button if you didn't. Don't forget to get subscribed and hit that bell button so you're notified every time a new video comes out. And check me out on Twitter, Twitch, and Patreon, all of which are at IggyHaxer. Hope to see you there. Hope to see you in the next video. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.